It is Friday, my dudes. And that means on this channel, tentatively, it's time for some more NF. And this is the song, Wake Up. Uh, I'm going according to the order of this one commenter who left a comment on my hope reaction, uh, at Nikki5730. Thank you so much. She left a massive, massive comment on the video explaining the song order and little notes next to the, the songs that show how they connect so things I can look out for. So thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate it. It's a massive help. But I'm going according to that order. I know there are other NF Journey orders that people listen to or... Um, yeah, there's some songs omitted, some songs added, whatever it is. I'm going according to this comment order. It keeps things neat and tidy, and I like that. So, according to that order, this is the song Wake Up by NF. Uh, I'm like 40% sure I've heard this song before, although it was years ago, and I definitely wasn't paying attention to the, to the lyrics, and I almost definitely was not, like I did not watch the video. I, I it, it looks foreign to me. So, I'm just going to treat it like it's my first time listening and reacting to it. Um, so yeah, that, let's just jump into the reaction. Drop a like if you enjoy this reaction and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop a like, subscribe, come along for the ride. Anyway, let's dive into the reaction. I go. Yeah, this the piano intro thing definitely sounds familiar to me. like a baby boy look at him make a lot of money and you live in a mansion and pretty much got everything that you could ever imagine but you mm. feel like even though you got everything in the world you got nothing so what you do then is you start going backwards you run in a direction and you looking for something that isn't real now you know it's that oh. you just gotta have it what you doing is sleeping and thinking that you're awakening and not and the problem is that you don't know what you're after so you put everything that you have into what you do hoping that one day maybe you don't have to feel like you're empty but as you get older a lot of weight and your shoulders is getting heavy then you look back and you start to regret things you only get one life and every time you look into yours you feel like everything you have is a waste and the problem and the reason you can never feel a hole in your life is because you were never awake Ooh. you spend your life in a dream that you can escape i mentioned in the all i have reaction that he can sing you he can really sing Definitely heard the song before. You wake up in the morning, but feel like you never got up and go to work, Ooh, and you feeling like you ain't got a purpose. It. And you trying to get motivated, but everything you do turns into a mess, like you ain't nothing but worthless. And yo, you look around, a lot of these other people you looking at to you, you describe as perfect. So you point a finger at God and tell him to do his job and fix your life up, cause nothing is working. And you would try to hide it and make it seem like it's nothing, but really you feel like everything is crashing around you. And you develop the Trusting in other people which later became an issue that would mentally pound so you only get one life But every time you look into yours you feel like all you ever see are mistakes And the problem and the reason you can never move forward in life is because you were never awake Wake up <laughs> Okay I don't know if the song is necessarily about him but it's super relatable This is just like a PSA, basically. Ooh. 
I mean, I get what the song's about, for sure. Oh, shit. Life just passes you by. Life just passes you by. Oh, shit. Wake up before it's too late, basically. Oh, damn. I mean, I get it. It's like I said, I don't think the song's necessarily about him. Maybe it is. Maybe he went through this sort of period in his life, too, before he woke up. But it's basically like don't live your life in complacency right don't don't fall into the monotony of it don't get distracted because i mean i think the the narrative that uh, the woman in the video she looks maybe like she's like a super successful woman she's you know career driven and and like but that kind of distracted her from her life and because of that she lost her husband and child right uh, they moved out. Um, I'm going to take these eyes off the screen because it's starting to creep me the fuck out. But anyway. Jesus. All right, lady. Go to sleep. Uh, no, don't go to sleep. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, so it's just... Yeah, don't get distracted by the things. Like, you put yourself in positions. And then he, he's like, don't point the finger at God and say, fix my life. Like, no, you get off your ass and you fix your life. Do something about it. Right? Wake up. Stop getting distracted by all, by all these trivial pursuits basically and wake up before it's too late because before you know it you're going to be an old man or old woman and life's going to pass you by and you didn't you didn't do anything about it you lost your family you lost your house your kids or money you you lost the best part best years of your life so you need to wake up you need to wake the fuck up it's, it's a PSA. The song is a PSA. It, I don't think it necessarily ties into a lot of other songs on his narr in his narrative, but it definitely is super fucking relatable. And yeah, it's an awesome song. Um, I, I mean, I'm, already I'm trying to rank the songs that I have heard to try and put them in some sort of list, but I think I shouldn't do that. We'll just move on to the next song and you know see what it has to offer because i i didn't really like this as much as like all i have or even uh mansion mansion was fire mansion was like it painted the perfect narrative of what nf has been through and what he is trying to convey with his music this song is more of like a psa he's speaking to the audience he's like maybe i've been through this and like i don't want you to go through it so wake up before it's too late stop sleeping Stop, you know, stop being complacent. Stop living in that monotony. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to be an old person filled with regret. Waiting to die alone. It's a line from Inception. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, let's just dive into some lyrics and see if I missed anything along that analysis. Okay, so. <clears throat> you spend your life in a dream that you can't escape because you live your life in a coma. You're never awake. If you'd open your eyes, then maybe you'd see what's at stake. You're sleeping, you're sleeping. So yeah, it, it, this doesn't necessarily mean you're being complacent, but you're definitely spending your life in a dream. So I think that ties into the, uh, the, the woman in the narrative. Actually, it could tie into the guy too. But the woman in the narrative, she's spending her life in a, a dream. Her dream is to be career-driven, super successful, all the money, all the whatever she was doing. Right? It wasn't clear what she did, but whatever she was doing, she was living her dream, but the problem is it's a dream you can't escape because she's in a coma. So when you can't escape a dream, it means you can't wake up. Technically means you're in a coma. So because of that, she lost sight of her family, husband and kid left, and now she's in that big mansion alone, right? You make a lot of money and you live in a mansion and pretty much got everything that you could ever imagine, but you feel like even though you got everything in the world, you got nothing. So that's what is it like you 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 can have all of it and none of it at the same time so or you can have everything and nothing is a better way to say that um so what you do then is you start going backwards you run in in a direction and you look for something that isn't real right a lot of people kind of backtrack and try to see what they did wrong or trace backtrace their steps to try and fix the mistakes that are already made too little too late kind of um and you know that you gotta uh, and you're looking for something that isn't real all you know is that you gotta just have it 
what you're doing is sleeping and thinking you're awake and you're not and the problem is that you don't know what you're after you you basically she can't choose right she's happy because she's already done the career she's already um lived the dream but again she's lost something in the process husband and kid gone um and she's trying to see what she did wrong well it's too little too late you lived the dream but you were asleep because you missed out on everything maybe she missed out on her son growing up and now she realizes she woke up and realizes she's all alone in this big mansion with all this money and nobody to share it with and the fact i mean and the fact that he's saying like you live in a mansion maybe that it has something to do with him but this is his first actual album so i don't know if like his mansion was his mind palace kind of place that's what he was conveying it, i i don't know if he made enough money at this point to sort of live that life but even then in all i have even in the intro in the mansion so like he talked about he doesn't want the fame he doesn't want all that shit he's just doing it because he has something to prove right so i think the mansion here is just this woman who is career driven made a lot of money big house but it's empty also so anyway uh hoping that one day you don't have to feel like you're empty but as you get older a lot of weight on your shoulders is getting heavy yep uh then you look back and you start to regret things you only get one life and every time you look in at yours you feel like everything you have is a waste and the problem is and and the problem and the reason you could never fill a hole in your life is because you were never awake so yeah <coughs> that ties into the end of the video where she's already an old woman and she's trying to look back on her life and thinking what she made wrong what she did wrong but it's too late you can't fix it now there's not enough time to fix it you've already made the decisions you've made the choices you were you were asleep now you're finally awake but it's too late right that's kind of what he's saying um yeah and then verse 2 where he's talking now the, the narrative has shifted to this guy who seems to be like a gardener or a or a, a handyman of some kind working for a super successful person who wasn't shown in the video it makes me think he's working for the lady the house kind of looked similar so maybe that's what it is um but yeah so it's it's kind of like perspective right it gives yourself perspective like she's super successful made all her money but she doesn't have a family and she doesn't have the love in her life she's living in that mansion alone and then you have the handyman who's i mean he's i guess bottom of the barrel because his house was a fucking mess and he was trying like as he says you point a finger at god tell him to do his job and fix your life up because nothing is working but it's like you put yourself in that position so you fix your life right but anyway you wake up in the morning but you feel like you never got up and go to work huh but you feel like you never got up and go to oh oh yeah yeah uh and you feeling like you ain't got a purpose and you're trying to get motivated but everything you do turns into a mess like you ain't nothing but worthless and you you look around a lot of other people you're looking at to you you describe as perfect right to you you describe as perfect so like from his point of view this woman with the fancy car and the fancy house and the fancy life is perfect she has no problems but we know better because we've seen it right so to him she's living the perfect life he wants that life but he doesn't have it because he's made bad decisions maybe um and he's put himself in this position where he can't have that life right so and you'll try to hide it and make it seem like it's nothing but really you feel like everything is crashing around you and you develop a problem in trusting other people which later become an issue that would mentally pound you you only get one life but every time you look in at yours you feel like there are mistakes and it he repeats himself there so yeah it's like that the, the video conveyed the perspective of like this guy who's got a minimum wage job not even maybe i don't know what the minimum wage that country is but he's got a low paying job and he feels like his life is a mess so the perspective is he's looking up at this woman who's got the fancy car i mean i don't even know if it is the same woman but the woman's got the fancy car fancy house a lot of money and to him that life is perfect even though she's going through her own shit it's perspective it, it gives you perspective but basically in verse 2 he's saying don't blame god for your mistakes you put yourself in that position you get out of it and fix it make a choice do something about it which then you know showed him trashing his place i i don't know how that fixes things but you know you you get what i mean like he he's definitely telling him like stop 
stop running around in circles basically just wake up wake the fuck up fix your life you feel better about it i guess uh he broke the quarter the 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 jar of quarters that he was saving up i guess for something um but yeah it's just breaking the monotony it's a it's a metaphor basically but anyway so that was nf wake up god damn that was uh that was a heavy song but like i said i mean i don't know if I'll, i i'd put it up against like mansion or the other songs before um but it's a great song it's definitely a psa towards the audience and the listener so uh yeah let me know what you guys thought in the comments below what you think of the song what you took from the song because it's super relatable i think definitely speaks to a lot of us um but yeah that's going to do it for me thank you so much for watching everybody and uh i I'm really excited to be jumping into a lot more NF. There's a long way to go, but I appreciate it if you're here for the journey. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, do all the things, the YouTube things. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.